Hey guys, Taylor Knapp here from Moto Everything Diesel Ops Racing with a post-race review after the very first race of the Moto America Championship down in Austin, Texas at a track called Circuit of the Americas known as CODA, so check it out. So we finished up with the very first round of the Moto America Championship, um, the, the first of nine rounds total. And, um, you know, it was a, it's been a long off season, getting everything ready, the formation of a new team, which is called Moto Everything Diesel Ops Racing, um, riding Yamaha R1s in the 1000 Superstock class that races with Superbike this season. I finished up second place in the championship last year. And it's just been, you know, a lot of preparation and, and, and working with the team, getting sponsors and getting everything in place. So lots of work finally came down to the race, which, uh, you know, is the best part. Um, a lot of teams put in a lot of off-season testing and we didn't quite put in as much off-season testing as we would have liked. We did uh, a couple track days and a couple tests down south, but uh, a lot of the big teams got to go down to COTA with an official test. And they were there for two days getting the bikes dialed in. And, you know, unfortunately, we, we, we weren't quite ready for that big test. So we were a little behind. A lot of teams had some, uh, you know, really good data to, to kind of use for the race. And they, they came in a little bit more prepared. So, you know, I was off the bike for about six months there before the first race. So I was a little nervous. But, uh, you know, all the training and everything I do to get ready kind of paid off. Um, Went out in the first session at Coda, and uh, you know it's a track I've only been to one time ever before, but it's an amazing facility. Um, you know, it was really cool being there with Moto GP, you know, the best riders and ra racers and teams in the world. So, you know, it's cool to be racing side by side with them. Um, you know, after the first session, we were sitting pretty good. I think we were, you know, sitting around fifth place in class. So, um, you know, we were happy with that considering, you know, the off season and all the stuff we had to get ready. So. You know, come to, come time for qualifying, I uh, you know I I was you know ready to rip out of the gate and uh, got behind a, a new guy in the series this year named Claudio Corti, um, came from a Moto GP and a Moto Two background, so he was going pretty good. He had been there before, and you know I think it was lap two in qualifying. I you know I jumped right in behind him and started catching him, so I knew it was a pretty good going to be a good lap. We were pretty early on; it was only a couple corners into the lap but um, made it to turn three, third gear wide open just before the rev limiter, and I had a big front end slide, and a, you know, I tucked the front, there was smoke coming off it. I, I thought I could save it, but I had to let it go. Slid forever, and um, it was kind of unfortunate, but the guys got the bike back together, and you know, big thanks to G-Moto Leathers their suits are amazing and uh, you know I, I slid for a long time at a really high speed and was completely unhurt so you know big thanks to them and big thanks to the crew for getting the bike back together after qualifying um, it was a little unfortunate I only got a couple laps at the end of the session so we did not make the Super Bowl 2 session so we were locked in we were way in the back for you know not where I wanted to start back in 17th position so I had my work cut out for me in the race, but uh, I put my head down when the green flag dropped and I just started pushing and you really just picked off everyone I could, everyone that was in front of me. I had an amazing race with, um, with Danny Eslick, Sheridan Marias, Claudio Corti, you know, all the guys that, uh, you know, I race with are top notch and, um, you know, it was a really exciting battle actually with Danny. Uh, he was riding for the team that I raced for last year, and you know I'm good friends with Danny. We were just going back and forth on the last lap, and two laps to go, I did a pass up the inside on him that uh, he probably wasn't expecting. Slid the front, was hoping we weren't. I wasn't going to take us both out. Saved it. Went pretty low to block the inside, and he was already up the inside, and he tried to run it really deep in on me, and he was sliding back to the end kind of ran wide on the apex I squared him off and beat him to the line so it was a fun race we were all hanging it out you know we're all not quite you know ready at the first race and you know um, bike settings were getting better and better but you know when it came time time to race we were we were all hanging it out and 
they're all good clean racers I really liked racing with Sheridan Marias as well good clean racer as long with Danny real clean and races you real hard so you know we came out of there uh, with a fourth and a fifth place finish and you know it was the first race in uh, a whole year that I hadn't finished on the podium so it was a bummer to not be up on the podium for you know all the hard hard work that we put in but you know with a fourth and a fifth place finish we are actually uh, sitting pretty good third in points leaving the weekend so um, you know one crash was unfortunate and some bad luck but you know when it comes down to race time I was there like I always am and uh, you know just really happy to put the moto everything diesel ops Yamaha Graves equipped R1 um, in third place in the points I got to give a shout out to Spectral Oils um, Dunlops 100% Arai Helmets G Moto you know they kept me safe they kept me on track and um, Vortex um, you know all, all the guys that help out really appreciate it and um, um, looking forward to the rest of the season so we'll talk to you next time